So, does it matter? Does it matter if you're a Christian, a Baptist, a Presbyterian, a Catholic, a, um, every religion that's out there in the world, or an atheist? To me, it doesn't matter. What matters is, and the reason why I'm saying this is because uh, I just, Karen showed me that a guy by the name of uh, Rob C. over there in California, I remember um, you comment on my channel sometime last year. And then I went and looked at your video. You had a you had one video up, something about seeing psychiatrists or something. And I was listening to you, and um, I just sensed that you're just a you know a real person. I know we're all people, but like a genuinely real person. And you were going through some things. But since then, man, have I come across so many fake-ass people. And that's what's sickening about it, is they call themselves Christians. So it's not, it's not a good name, you know. To label yourself as a Christian, it just doesn't seem whatever. I mean, I don't... I, don't, I always go back to... Are, are you telling the truth or do you love to lie? So the two religions to me is truth and lying. Good and evil. That's it. There's only two religions. It's one or the other. You either are or you aren't. If you love to lie, you're evil. If you tell the truth, you're good. Good, evil. Period. Point blank. That's the end of the story. So when it comes to uh, when it comes to the Bible, it's people's preference. Like if they believe it or not. I, me personally, I believe that it's 100% God's word. I believe that it's how how you read it, how you understand it, how you can interpret it. And then, well, there's other people that claim that they can interpret the Bible too. But again, it's not, it's never been a, uh, the churches will beat you over the head with it. Even though they don't follow it, just like the Pharisees and the Sadducees, just like all the fake-ass people on the other end of this, watching it, that paid to watch, you guys are, uh, well, these are fake. And you love to lie. <clears throat> and you also claim to be a, a Christian. Or a Nazarene whatever you want to call yourself. So does it matter if you believe the Bible or not? You know, it's a, it's a perf personal preference. Like, do you... I get comfort out of believing it because I see where... I see where the evil side, and this is strictly for the evil people, I see where you guys are just... Falling right in place in the Bible where it's being interpreted and um, but what you're seeing is delusional people delusional so does it hurt one way or another to believe the Bible is true or to believe that it isn't true well that kind of depends on where is your heart in the first place is your heart in a place where it doesn't matter what you're going through you're just going to be a real person and that's that's what I've seen in in Rob and um so that's why I subscribed to you a while back long time ago and then you went to that program for a while <clears throat> 
I mean, you said you, you did what you said you were going to do. You said that this is it. I, I'm pre pre uh, preparing to uh, go for a while um, into that program. And, uh, and then that's exactly what you did. And I just, my stepmom just told me today that, that you came back and for some reason I was unsubscribed to you or whatever. And, uh, but it was a month ago that you made a video. <clears throat> so I just commented on it now. <clears throat> but I appreciate people like you. It, it doesn't even matter. Like, it, and it's the same thing with when I... I just look for people that are telling... That I believe are telling the truth. No matter what it is. And it, and a lot of... Like, I remember a lot of the words you'd say, man. I, I'm like, I don't, I don't even know... I don't... It's kind of like... Interpreting the Bible. Like, I, these words that you're saying... I don't even know what they mean. But it sounds good. And, um... But with, with all the fake people on YouTube and what I've learned over this, this past like nine months or so because there was like a halfway point and then once I came across all these people that cling cling to you with flatteries it becomes nauseating after 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 some time because you just get tired of the fakery and that's why I appreciated watching Rob's videos. He was going through some things. And, um... But I... It's like... It doesn't even matter what you're talking about. It, and again, it just goes back to that thing. Are you being real with yourself? If you're being real with yourself, you're going to be real, period, with everybody. And I remember saying it... Saying it to you that you're like... At the very beginning, you're seeing a psychiatrist, and then I'm listening to what you're saying, and I'm like, well, the psychiatrist should should probably pay you to see them, because all they do is ask you questions, and then, and then you're the one coming up with the answers. But at that time, it probably wasn't meant for you to do that. And then where you went, you know, it was meant, because I remember when I went to jail, the first jail I went to for 10 months, I seen a psychiatrist once a week, every week. So I, out of 10 months, um, well, about 40 times I've seen, I seen the talk to the psychiatrist. <clears throat> and one of the stories she told me was she was in a park with her dog and some creepy guy came up and was kind of like, almost it, like she sensed like an evil presence of the guy coming up to her and then it was an ex it was it was an experience talking about her her experience with God and um where the dog just out of nowhere just did that vicious teeth growl right at the guy's ball sack and um and that was the moment that she realized that God was protecting her and that dog was not going to allow that guy to do anything and it was it's little moments like that that you start to think like like man that truly is God using using the dog to protect her at that exact moment and um and that's where I started to open up about talking about God and I can't even remember her name, but, and then that goes back to, uh, and I'm kind of jumping around here, but it goes back to being an atheist or not, or however you want to, however you want to, I wouldn't even classify it as an atheist. It's again, atheist is just another word for a, a religion. It's another name for religion. And religion was just created to cause division to everybody. So when it comes to 
being an atheist or being a Christian, to me it doesn't matter what you are. It truly matters. Where is your heart? Are you somebody that enjoys telling the truth? Or are you somebody that enjoys making up stories? Are you a... Like, in other words, the Derek from a glop of truth, right? It's such a contradiction. But anyway, him and Nikki like to write uh, fictional books. Okay? It, it, that should just tell you something alone. If you like to write fictional books and make up stories, you're probably going to make up stories in your life also. Which means... As you're writing a fictional book, I mean, you're making up a story, right? Not, I mean, it doesn't pertain to everybody, but when I when I test the spirits and uh, what people claim they are, you know, let me say it like this. <clears throat> From what I learn about Rob, now, I don't know what your last name is. I'm not asking for your last name. <clears throat> but your channel's name is Rob C. S-E-E. -E. And the last video, you... That was a month ago that I just seen today. You said that basically, if you classify yourself as anything, it's an atheist. I would... If I had a choice between someone like trusting my life in somebody's hands compared to someone that calls himself a Christian opposed to Rob calling himself an atheist, from what I seen with the videos that you did make, and that some of them, you know, you just, I just seen realness in you. That's it. And that's why I watched your videos. That's why I gravitated to your to your videos. Because I, I sensed that you were just being real. So if I was to trust my life in someone's hands. And I had a choice. Between like a Derek from a glob of truth. Um, who's constantly calling me a liar. And a false prophet. And a, you know things like that. And claims to be a Christian. Opposed to Rob who classified himself as an atheist. Well, I would I would trust my life in Rob's hands. You know what I mean? And I'm glad to see that you're back. I mean, I don't know if you're going to make videos or whatever. But I do want to let you know that I support you for what you've done, what you said you were going to do. And then I forget how many months it's been. It's been at least six since you uh, got on here. Maybe seven. <clears throat> You can kind of see also that this, with the economy, the things that are going on, the uh, how it's being ushered in and set up to be basically uh, the depopulation. And as you put it, where to be conservative, you see that happening within the next couple decades. I see it happen within the next couple months. I mean the attempt, the attempt that, that they're trying. They're going to attempt, uh, and it's going to fail miserably. So when, it, when I talk about my niece, that she's a nurse, she, um, she doesn't believe in God. Like, not, not only just the Bible itself, but God, like, God doesn't believe that God exists, or just never really even thought about it. The reason being is because, uh, well, nothing traumatic has really happened in her life that, that God kind of presented himself to her, for her to believe. And a lot of incidents has happened to me where 
God made himself known that he was there. He just made himself known. And a couple times I said it. <clears throat> it was, it happened to be me in the Mustang. And um, the one time on a turnpike with my son, who was six months old in the back sleeping. It was starting to snow. I was trying to get from Reading back to Philly. And uh, I lost control and I spun out backwards as the tractor trailer was coming straight at me. And as I'm like praying like immediately for help, the car kind of caught traction and I was able to back up. And it just so happened to be like a like, a, like a, a spot where you can pull over to the side and I stopped there catching my breath looking at my son just dead asleep and we could have just both been completely dead that fast just like that and um And then that tra the tractor trailer stopped as it was going. And um, I had like 30 more miles to go. Two more exits. And the tractor trailer stopped right in front of where I was at. And then started to go slow. And I took that immediately as... Because it wasn't going to stop snowing. I didn't have any more formula. I was a new father, you know what I mean? I wasn't prepared. And um, and I was just thinking, oh my God, like, my, I'm thinking like, what if I'm stuck here? My kid's gonna like thirst to death or starve. Or, yeah, I didn't know how long you can go for without food. I wasn't thinking of it. Um, but that tractor trailer started to move slow. And then I realized that's, you know, tires like this, two of them side by side, you know what I mean? And then four all together, paving the way, just splashing the snow out of the way to make traction for me. It was amazing. It was an amazing feeling that I knew that God was, uh, he was helping me get home. And that's what I prayed for. That's exactly what happened. So it's situations like that, that uh, my niece has never came across. But, just because she doesn't believe in God, she's not a disgusting, evil-hearted uh, person. You know, she just never had that experience, and that's where that—that's where religion has has been brought in to kind of divide people. If you don't believe, if you don't believe in Christianity, you're going to hell. I mean, that's—it's just flat out. No, if you're a Presbyterian, I don't think you... No, you have to know... You have to believe that Christ died on the cross, okay? And uh, you have to believe that he rose again, or you're not going to be saved, period. That always rubbed me the wrong way. It just did. If you believe that, okay, well, you have more faith. That's all. You just have more faith. No, you're going to burn in hell because God is going to, he's going to torment you guys. Because if you're a baby and you get into a car accident and you didn't have a chance to turn to God, and it, if that baby, you know, I, you know what? Wow. Come to think of it. Hmm. That's probably exactly the reason why I came across that little spin out going like 50 miles an hour on a turnpike and, and actually spinning around and then just going back like that's the direction that I was coming from and the track the trailer is coming towards me and I'm literally looking at the headlights and then I just backed up and but my son was six months old what if that track the trailer couldn't have stopped and smashed into us and killed us both would my son be burning in hell right now still because he didn't have a chance to turn to God no Rob and that's because you're, and this was Derek from Globetrotter's famous thing. It's because there's an age of knowing, okay? And once you know, the kids are innocent up until you know. 
And it's like, okay, well, I did this comparison before. Little Johnny and little little Joey, right? Uh, Joey and Johnny are... Okay, the age of knowing is 13. Little Johnny was 12 years old, 364 days, and little Joey was 13 years old and one day. And, and little Joey... Well, they both got into an accident and died, and um, but Joey, well, he was at the age of of knowing, but he didn't turn to God on his thirteenth birthday, so he's being tormented to death and burned up forever and ever and ever. But little Johnny, well, he died before the age of knowing, therefore he's safe in heaven. He's he's not being tormented day or night, but little Joey wasn't so lucky because. He was at the age of knowing, and he didn't turn to Christ. So you see how ridiculous that is? The belief system that makes you sick when people try to throw religion at you? So I understand where Rob's coming from with that. Just, you know, I just... Just going with uh, atheism. Because it's... It's it's more like independentism. You're going you're gonna to figure it out on your own. You're not going to let another man convince you one way or another or interpret the Bible and, and claim that they have the understanding of it because we all do it. We all have our private interpretation. Uh, it's just with me, I truly believe it. You know what I mean? And what I believe is true, I'm going to say it. Whatever I say, I'm not afraid to hold it back um, because I don't care what people think about me. I prefer that you believe what I'm saying. If not, it just doesn't matter. I don't get offended. I don't worry about it. Like, uh, I, I hope so. I hope they're going to believe what I say. Look, that's why I have so many subscribers and barely any views. Because I don't give a shit. If people don't believe what I'm saying, whatever. Just as long as you understand that I'm telling you the truth. What I believe is what I'm going to say. Excuse me a second. Anybody see a bank that has uh, when you go to cash change in that it's free, right? I want to give a shout out to that to that Republic Bank because the uh, not that I needed the cash in a change just yet anyway. <laughs> I mean. Um, but it's free, you know. I don't know if anybody knows, but TD Bank used to claim that they're the most convenient bank in America. But this Republic Bank is literally the most convenient bank in America. They're open Saturdays until like 6, Sundays until 5. They're even open on Martin Luther King's Day, which is Monday. Wasn't he a Freemason too? I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> High level one. Was he really shot? I mean, come on. There I go with my conspiracies. See, I, again, I don't care. What, you know, I don't, I don't, I believe Jimi Hendrix really, really died. And I believe that uh, Kurt Cobain was really uh, murdered. Okay. Michael Jackson, Prince, all those other characters, George Michael, Michael Jackson, uh, I mean, I already said him, George, Boy George, George Michael, Michael Jackson, I think they're all still alive, uh, Tupac, Biggie, same thing, because I, I always thought of this, uh, okay, all these gang stalkers out here, right, I might be getting off topic here, but... All these gang stalkers out here. You can literally Google gang stalking jobs, FBI gang stalking jobs, 24 to 35 hours an hour. I mean, 24 to 45 hours an hour. So it's real. But all the gang stalkers, all the surveillance they have, and, and they don't know who shot Biggie or Tupac? I mean, come on. They don't know because nobody did. Oh, and Curtis James Jackson, 50 Cent, you know, who's part of the Fitz James family along with uh, Stephen James Deshaun, the fake Jesus, and uh, um, 
hard James Harden hard on and uh, and um, I always forget the other James is out there but uh, all that surveillance that they got going on and they can't they can't literally figure out who shot who I just think it's a, it's a big hoax anyway um, the, the point of this video was I just want to give a shout out to Rob C who finished his program and um, and Rob just watch out for the trolls and uh because my channel is highly highly attacked highly attacked all you gotta do is punch in robin's hood and and look at all the false prophet and lying and and um oh and look at the the revelation 13 15 character they made like 1500 videos just about me you know the creepy um clay figures and animation figures of like basically like stabbing me in the face and shit like that so i've become um a fan unfavorite to these people so anybody anybody's channel that i recommend or mention um they're gonna go over there to see like who's he talking about and then they'll and then some of them will try to cling to you with flatteries you know and then um and others will just troll you and just and and be a real douche douchebag because that's because that's what they like to be. Uh, because since since those six seven months ago, the attacks on me have escalated, and but it's just like that's all. It's it's constant like this. You're always gonna have fleas and ticks and gnats kind of trying to harass you but it's really like you're like this much bigger than they are even if they claim to be giants in this world they're just giant pusses yeah they're giants all right see giant what when people are you know you're looking at the nephilims and the, the giant the giants and well, let's define what a giant is. A giant can be a giant corporation. A giant, um, the elite are giant freaking liars. Uh, they're giant blood drinkers. They, they, you know, everything they do is giant. They hire a giant amount of trolls to uh to try to attack individual people I probably got off topic with everything but I was coming to the conclusion that I have five more minutes left a lot of times I do videos just to, to keep the trolls act active and uh, keep them on their toes and waste their tape because they have to record my videos and um, so a lot of times after 10 minutes or so it's it's the rest is for them pretty much just to uh, just to stay busy I like to keep people working when I have people work for me why well, I put them to work you know I, I don't let them just stand around with their thumb up their ass even though a lot of people on YouTube, they like to put their thumb up their ass. They would rather, they would enjoy standing there with their thumb up their ass. Like, I mean, literally, they would enjoy that. Well, but, uh... Yeah. It's good to listen to people who I believe are telling the truth. And that's, that's what the bottom line of this video is about. People that tell the truth, I appreciate you. I really do. I even appreciate atheists that tell the truth. Uh, sounds like an oxymoron, but it ain't. Because again, it's just a title. It's just, it's all it is is a title. People claim to be Christians and are flat out freaking liars.
flat out liars. Liars in this world are the most disgusting creatures. They're the most sickening people because they can, I, it's like, even when I was a criminal, I, I still wasn't a, a liar. I mean, I would deny what I did when it comes to the, 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 uh, the charges, but technically it's not denying, it's just you have a right to remain silent, right? They have to prove you guilty. Even though they say you're innocent until proven guilty, they put the freaking handcuffs on you, right? That doesn't feel like I'm being, that doesn't feel like I have a chance, doesn't feel like I'm innocent, you know what I mean? It feels exactly like I'm guilty until I prove myself the innocence. And, uh, So if anybody's still watching, if you want to see what I'm talking about, uh, just go over to Rob Rob C's channel, S E E Rob C, and and you can see for yourself that even when he was at his, and I don't know if you're going to keep the videos up or not, but even when you're at like the period of where you you thought that you were uh, saying radical stuff and. And whatever it was, I still seen that it doesn't matter what you were saying. It was, it was, uh, you were just being real. And boy, can I appreciate real people these days. Because it's, I've been clung to with so many damn flatteries from fake ass people that at first it's like, oh, that's cool. They're saying really nice things about me. That's great. They're making videos and saying, saying really kind things. And then next thing you know, you turn around, they're saying the exact opposite, just like that. Like, man, how does that change your mind so drastically? Unless you were already a disgusting, demonic liar, and um, you're just you were just putting on a front. So I'll never understand how people can be so damn fake. That's why I can't stand people in Hollywood because they're fake as shit. They're all reading scripts. They all pretend. They all act. They, they probably don't even know who they truly are. It's like being a drug addict. You know, you're just addicted to something constantly and you don't truly know who you really are inside until you get off the drugs and start thinking for yourself. That's like when I, with my son, I had, I had to pull him away from the video games. We argued a lot because I kind of tried to keep him away from the technology so he can sit there and think about who he really is. It took a while, but it was worth it, was worth it in the end. And he's growing up a lot. 